Hey everyone, I don't normally review Gel Ball Blaster on the channel, but let's make a little change and review one. I'm that old nerve guy, welcome to Tag. And that's not so long ago, I was contacted by the B-Wine company, asking me if I wanted to review one of their Gel Ball products. Uh, not much detail, uh, yeah, okay, maybe I would be interested. I mentioned that I was not really into Gel Ball Blaster, but it was okay with them. It's like a new experience to me. Now, uh, I had like no word on what model or what they were going to send me. And this thing came in like this box, straight like that. Uh, the tape was already cut out, I guess they opened it at custom. Uh, it's kind of a mystery for me, how customs work. Normally we are banned on a replica, I'm able to order like not real replica, but this one apparently is a 1-1 one, one replica of an M4A1, even if it's in clear color I think, it's not supposed to have come here anyway. Nonetheless, I received this B-Wine M4A1 uh, splatter ball blaster, gel ball blaster, uh, I checked the website on Amazon, I checked their listing. The claims are pretty big, uh, they're telling me it's going to be 10 rounds a second, 200 FPS, semi-auto fire, 200 FPS is pretty high, this is quite precise. And from what the seller told me, this is all metal barrel, metal gearbox, trigger, so really, really intrigued in that thing. I don't have that much experience or knowledge of those. But I have my knowledge and what a good blaster feels like. So I'm going to check this one. I'm going to try my best to give you my point of view, my opinion on this one. And you're going to make yourself the choice if you like it or not. Let's go on the table to unbox this thing. This thing came in the mail like that with my address slapped here. Could you imagine the face of the guy at custom when he saw this box? Uh, first thought. It looked super real, almost like a 1-1 replica, I think it is. I am not a fan of uh, plain replica. This one apparently is colorful. I'm going to open it for the first time with you. I'm going to see what is inside that box. Okay, a target. Water activated reusable target. Okay. I guess for target practice, I am not going to shoot that thing inside. Those are messy. Nice user manual. Battery. Oh, I might read it. Since this thing come with LiPo. And two of those. Is there that I got a spare one or do I need two to power this thing? I hope it's because I got a spare one. I'm not a fan of those small batteries. We had that discussion in another video. Okay. Plenty of ammo. I understand this is only gel ball and that costs nothing. But this is cool. They give us plenty to start off with. Since I don't run gel ball, it's pretty nice. I'm going to have some. Some protective glasses, uh, probably uh, other guinea pig for my uh, safety glass test. I'm accumulating them, uh, the different safety glass from different blaster, and I'm all gonna test them all at the same time. And we're gonna see if some are useful or not, or sometimes even dangerous in your face. We got this magazine oh okay the charger two charger we got two battery they give us two charger those are the basic basic charger they tell us to charge it with a two amp charger and those accept only one amp that's weird that is weird uh, this magazine i have to say the feeling of this is quite good I mean, the quality seems there very, very much. The little sight, ooh, which is adjustable from left to right. And there is an up-down on this thing. Okay, 
not completely useless and it looks like Picatinny rail to hold it in place and yeah a little sharp on the top but this thing feels good the stock adjustable feel good honestly yeah and the blaster itself Ooh, I have to say the feeling of this shell is super high quality and the weight oh this is cool this is a metal trigger okay those are contacts for what magazine motorized magazine okay like I told you I don't have a lot of experience but as I imagine we fill this magazine somehow and then the rounds are pushed up in the oh okay hmm looks like I'm gonna have some hydration to do for the rounds and probably some charging yeah for the battery so in that box we have D B wine M4A1 gel blaster itself. The butt stock uh, magazine, motorized magazine for the blaster, injection molded molded sight and adjustable for the blaster, some safety glasses. Uh, according to the box, 10,000 gel ball included with it, dehydration bottle for when you want to carry a small quantity to top up your magazine which you are just to hydrate your gel ball two lipo battery it's one spare you got an extra one coming with it two charger to go with the battery a user manual and a water activated target a reusable target for target practice with this thing as I already told you, blaster feel super high quality. I mean, this is a heavy blaster. And the feeling, this is a good sturdy shell. I mean, the quality is super nice. Thickness is very, very good on it. Wow, this is smooth. This is impressively smooth. I mean, not... Maybe not the same for the tip of the barrel here, seems a little more rough than the rest, but generally, oh, and this thing got a metal barrel, after all, inside of it, I, I, I don't even have enough space to show it to you, probably like that. And there is a metal barrel in there, fine. doesn't seem like moving the stock okay and this thing look super real and the magazine okay this is something really really real before I do any chrono test I'm gonna have to hydrate myself some of the round so let me do it and uh, charge one of those battery Speaking of battery, where does it go? I haven't seen any battery door. Not in the buffer tube because I just added the stock. Where does this thing go? There's a plug here. And this thing split in half, so... Okay, I get it. No, yet. Yeah. Okay, that that is pretty neat, and we got enough space to probably replace a light bulb for anything we want, a small pack, but anything we want there. Yeah, this B wine splatter ball blaster is quite an experience. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna take that off right now. It's the look. I don't like the look. I don't like fully simulated look I said the same thing on the last blaster I reviewed this look is not for me that said let's take that apart for the rest I only have good thing I mean we seem to have metal internal a very good high rate of fire not 
quite turn around the second I'm gonna explain you later I mean we have an adjustable side we got the rear stock we got a motorized magazine the included 10,000 rounds with it plus two lipo pack to power this thing but this thing is not just what's included it's the feeling this is premium feeling this is this feel like high hand uh, blaster this really feels better than my prophecy this texture it's so smooth the only part that feel less quality maybe this part of the barrel but for the rest it is top notch even the buttstock is a standard buffer tube you can slap it on different blaster and this side is regular picatinny under there so you can install it on other blaster at will if you like that is a good point uh, I am not into that format, that gel blaster thing, but I have to say uh, a blaster of this quality, of this level of performance will be growing on me a little. Uh, I know they are not all the same and I realize that, but this one feels so good and so responsive. On semi-automatic during the chronograph test I had uh, 200, 215, 220 and higher FPS, that was pretty impressive. And on full automatic, it varies from let's say 180, sometimes a little less depending on the little gel ball that goes through the system. But generally, those gel balls were very good quality, very regular in sizes. I had no exploding ball at the end of the barrel. But was, I was pretty impressed by that because most of the blaster I've tried in gel ball and I had between my hand were exploding. Uh, one or two round every five to ten round they were shooting on full automatic not this one a uh, little thing I didn't know this thing even got lights on it when you fire it and when you go on full auto I mean this is not the full uh, ten rounds a second maybe it was calculated more around eight rounds a second when I did the chrono test but nonetheless this thing perform and it shoot so straight uh, I couldn't test that, I had to skip the fire test, I am indoors, we are during winter, but rest assured, I will end up trying this thing more out in the sun, when the sun comes back. This was kind of a first real experience, I don't own gel ball blaster, and I'm kind of proud to have it between my hands, because the only thing I've saw amongst all the gel blaster I saw that was really really close to that, or feeling pretty much the same, was the... Dart Zone Pulsar Pro, that rainbow blaster would got, that got a motorized mag, much, much more like this one. But yeah, it's pretty much the only thing that feels as close as that. For now, I don't have a link for this and I neither have the price. So I have like no idea what this thing is worth, but I'm telling you, this thing feels high end and it was an awesome experience yeah i think that's it for this small video in the meantime you can always follow me on facebook and instagram at that old nerve guy please leave a like and comment subscribe for more content don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video this was dave for thank you for watching see you next time bye